As part of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Netflix series, they made the decision to include clips of the infamous Panorama interview with Princess Diana, going against Prince William's wishes for it to never be aired again. The team behind the interview were found to have lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with the late princess. So a royal expert claims Prince William is livid with his brother's decision to include the clips. Speaking to OK Katie Nichol claimed the move is frustrating and hurtful for William. During the new series Harry spoke about his experience with the British press, including a clip from the 1995 interview. The Duke said, I think she had a lived experience of how she was living that life. She felt compelled to talk about it. Especially in that Panorama interview, I think we all now know that she was deceived into giving the interview but at the same time she spoke the truth of her experience. Ems Nichols said the princess's story is not to be monopolized the Sussexes. Speaking about William's reaction she said, he'll be livid. William has campaigned for that footage to never be screened again. So for it be used in his brother's own reality TV show will be very frustrating for William. It's quite antagonistic and it's not right. I think the way Harry has monopolized Diana's narrative is his own must be very hurtful for William too. Diana was their mother, it was their story and loss and their story to share, not to be monopolized by Harry and Meghan. A report issued in 2021 by Lord Dyson found that journalist Martin Basher was in a serious breach of BBC guidelines and acted inappropriately by producing fake bank statements to obtain the interview. In response, the Prince of Wales said, It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia, and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. He continued, It is my firm view that this panorama program holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again. It effectively established a false narrative which, for over a quarter of a century, has been commercialized by the BBC and others. The BBC paid out £100,000 to both brothers which they chose to donate to charity. Following the report by Lord Dyson, Basher issued a statement and a full and unconditional apology was issued by BBC Director General Tim Davey.